So Jack, you have been an artist your entire life. Almost, from two and a half years at least. I found old pictures that way, my dad had signed them. He wrote on Done by Jack when he was two and a half years old. I don't know why he did that. We have not yet. <laughs> he, must have, he must have noticed that you are going to be an artist someday. They still look like the way I scribble today. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. How would you describe your style, Jack's style? My, my style is uh, very easy. I avoid having a style. I've had a show of 25 paintings, and people thought that by 25 different artists, then I would have met my target. I don't want to have a style. And it's your philosophy, you hope, that your, your students actually end up better than you. Oh, absolutely. That's the only way to go. I'll tell you, all my, we don't make money at teaching, really. You don't make money at teaching. Uh, but all my teachers, not, well, maybe not everyone, but too many of them said, Jack, you have to pass it along. I paid them for all the classes I got, but wouldn't begin to scratch the surface in what they gave me, what they did for me. They all bent over backwards. Bob Skemp one time told me, oh no, Herb Olson, oh Herb Olson, I forgot the great watercolors, got books and books out. Herb once told me, if any teacher ever says, well I can't tell you that, that's my secret, get away from them as fast as you can. <laughs> they should give you everything. And a good teacher will give you everything they know and they want you to take it and they want you to do more with it than you can do. You're ending here, they're still going off over there. And uh, uh, Leonardo da Vinci said, a good student should surpass his teacher. Accident of the word good, not every student. He wants to really work at it. And so if you teach him everything you know, and they utilize it, and they add to it, obviously it's got to be more. Either they failed or I did. And we got them literally all over the world. I have private students that come to us from as far away as England, Japan, China, the Bahamas. One guy came up from the Bahamas, stayed 30 days, took home 22 usable paintings. He was already an artist before he got here, and I just added to it, okay? And um, uh, these people come in with only one desire. They want to know what you can teach them, and they got to use it. See, every student you can't teach, because they got to use what you give them. Some don't, of course. And uh, those that do, like Charles Fall, who American Artist Magazine less says, said is the best realistic artist in America, was our student for eight years. Nothing could make us happier. Okay. And when we, he worked for us uh, 35 years ago, roughly, and we paid him, I suppose, five bucks an hour at that time. Last year in New York, one of his paintings was $225,000. <laughs> so um, maybe I should listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad investment to take classes from Jack. So you're still teaching today? Oh, yes. How many it's, students do you have now? Uh, I don't know exactly in the day class. The night class is a little slow because the weather and so on right now. The day class is probably about 15 or so, 15 maybe 20, I'm not sure, I don't count. I would rather have two or three really desirable students that want to learn than 50 that are just there for fun, okay? And awesome. sometimes that's the way it is. You might have a big class with only three or four that are really following all the instructions. And see, I just don't, most class, most art classes, the teacher, and this is okay, within a dis distance, teacher demonstrates what he does and the students repeat it. Well, that's good, but limited. We want to go all over the place, okay? We try to put in, in one day a week, five days of art school. The others are putting in one day of art school, <laughs> one day class, okay? So we try to jam everything in. No two students in our class is ever doing the same thing. And, but at the midway, we pull them all together for a half an hour or so of something special for everybody, supposedly new, that none of them know. We have to have that all the time. Keep adding new things, new things, new things. Um, I find it fascinating too your philosophy on teaching because of the the thoroughbred, or I guess the of all the teachers that you've had yourself. Yeah. Who are some of the people that you actually learned from? Well, uh, so many I can never think of them all. Paul Sample, who was artist residence at Dartmouth University. Aaron Borod, artist in residence, University of Wisconsin. Ben Sean, who doesn't need explanation, he's got dozens of books out, one of the greatest artists in America. Yasho Kuniyoshi, one of the greatest artists in America. Gladys Rockmore Davis, the greatest woman painter of her time. Uh, Charles Birchfield, who had, we know as one of the greatest ever from Ohio, a great friend. Uh, Robert Brackman, the greatest portrait painter in America until he died. Um, John Carroll, John Carroll, one of the great, great painters. 
Um, oh, plus Robert Skemp, Ben Stahl, the great illustrator, one of the greatest illustrators ever. Uh, Robert Skemp, one of the great portrait painters and illustrators. Uh, Gil Elgren, uh, the calendar girl artist. Yeah. Some of these guys are not exactly teachers, but I worked with them as their apprentice, which okay. was better than teaching, actually. Sure. Okay. Al Buell was another one there, and so on. It's and I, I think it came up with about 14 or 15 the other day. And these are all the best at what they did in the country at what they did at the time. Um, how is it that you ended up being able to paint all these famous people? How did they, get, how did they find you? I don't know exactly. Uh, some of them came through the World Series of Golf that I did for a while. I did them for 24 years. And then they just cut me off for no reason that I could discover it all, just stop. Everything changed out there, I guess. But they didn't know I wanted to quit. And I quit once, and then they told me who the next one would be is going to be George Bush. So I had to go on. Then the next time I was going to quit, they told me it was Charles Schultz, creative peanuts. I couldn't give that up, so I had to go on. So finally, when I had an out, it worked. <laughs> so you've, you've painted how many presidents? Uh, four uh, contemporary ones and about eight historic ones. I've done Lincoln, McKinley, uh, Garfield. They're all commissioned jobs. And uh, uh, I like to do portraits that the person particularly interests me in some way. And of course, President's going to interest you. <laughs> and, uh, and they've all been good guys, the ones I know. <laughs> I only knew Bush and Ford. I didn't really know Eisenhower because we did that long distance. In my commission portraits of Kennedy, he was dead, so I never knew him personally. If people want to take classes or, or come out to the gallery, yeah. how do they get a hold of you? Just call us on the phone anytime. What's the phone number? 330 uh, 929 in the phone book in many places, and uh, got all kinds of brochures all over the place. And uh, I'll come and visit. We, we always suggest this, though. We, as soon as somebody asks about classes, we tell them one thing. Don't put it off. We don't go looking for you, but if you want to do it, don't put it off. It's so easy to put it off and delay it. You must start immediately because there's so much to learn. Like we say in our classes, something new is shown every week that's not repeated very often. And the sooner you start, the sooner you start losing new things. But uh, other than that, we also tell them, come and sit in on a class, sit in the whole class, no charge, before you decide. Don't decide just without knowing what we do. Come in and visit a class, see what's going on, let us show you the students' works and so on, and then you decide. And we tell them to do that with every class. We also tell them, any class they go to take, don't worry about how good an artist the teacher is. Ask to see their students' works. And of course we win the game there. <laughs>